Okay, so last time we were um, really, we were uh, talking about linear block codes. And we talked about Hamming distance. So if let's say C is a code, C is a C is a code. Uh, then C contains code words, so C1, C2, and so on, and CM. The Hamming distance between any two code words, uh, actually I can't remember what notation I used last time, but let's use D, C1, C2, is the number of places So let's, uh, we also talked about minimum Hamming distance. Just before getting started, 
What does it mean if d min is equal to zero? All the code words are the same. Not all the code words are the same, but at least two code. There's at least two code words in the code that are the same. So in other words, uh, d min is the minimum over all possible pairs. So the, if d min is zero, then there's at least one pair that differs in no places. In other words, both of the code words are the same. So such a code word is useless because you can't distinguish the messages uniquely. Okay, d min of one means that there's at least one pair of code words that differs in one place. So that such a code word can detect d min minus one, which is zero, and can correct one minus one, which is zero, zero. Does this make sense? Yes, because if there's a pair of code words that differs in one place, then a single error in the worst case can flip one code word to the other. So you can't guarantee being able to detect or correct um, a single error, any, uh, any errors. Um, D min is two, how many can we detect? One, we can detect one error, D min equals two, and we can correct two minus one is one, divided by two is one half, what's the floor of one half? Zero. We saw an example of this last time. This is uh, the linear, excuse me, single parity check code. And we showed that you can't correct one error because if you have one error, then in general your, your uh, hamming distance is one from more than one code word, so you can't tell where you started from. Okay, uh, for three, we can detect two, and we can correct how many? One. One. So d min is three minus one is two. <laughs> two divided by two is one. And four of one is one. So d min of three. This is the first. This is the first time we can actually correct an error. D min of four. We can detect three. How many can we correct? One. We can only correct one, right? Because four minus one is three. 3 halves, floor of 3 halves is 1. If we have two errors, then we could end up in a position, in, in a situation where uh, because d min is 4, then if I have two code words that are d, that are distance 4 apart, then two errors puts me here. And I'm having distance of 2 away from the starting point, and having distance two away from them from some other code word and I could make an error there. So I can only guarantee error correction of one. Okay, five, I can detect four. How many can I correct? Two. So this is two. Uh, six, I can detect five. How many can I correct? Two. Which would be again two. Six minus one is five. Five halves, four or five halves is two, and so on. So today we're actually going to construct, uh, hopefully if we have time, we're going to construct a code of length of, excuse me, of minimum Hamming distance 3 to correct a single error, and this we call the Hamming code. But first, uh, let me finish off um, something I talked about last time. So remember, Linear block codes have a generator matrix G. So the way I generate a code word is I multiply G on the left by some message vector M, and I get my code word. So G is a, a K rows by N columns binary matrix. The consequence of this definition is that if C1 and C2 are code words, then C1 plus C2 mod 2 is a code word. 